the River Trading Post Pod Network. Here we'll bring you interesting tips, tidbits, information, discussions, and music, and just about everything else of interest to collectors of fine Native American art. The River Trading Post Pod Network is brought to you by River Trading Post. Be sure to drop in and visit with us in Santa Fe, Scottsdale, or Chicagoland. And of course, you can visit with us anytime at rivertradingpost.com. Forty-seven years ago, my father moved his family to Chicago. I was about six years old, and I remember how impressed I was with Lake Michigan. I'd never really seen so much water before. We were living in the St. Louis area at the time, but since there was more work out here, he decided to bring us to Chicago for the summer. I remember how many Native people were living on the north side. We had relatives as well as tribal members living on the north side back then. Amazing where life can take you. I've been back several times to Chicago since then, but today my journey brings me back to the area for a very special occasion. The heart of the basket maker came about while I was in a quiet period at my studio. There are times when inspiration comes easily, while other times it involves thought and contemplation because the creative process involves much emotions, thoughts, visions, and determination, its inspiration was carefully approached. I wanted to la create a lasting image that would stir the emotions and draw a reaction to those who viewed the sculpture. In the inspiration, I wanted to honor those who have created and developed the art of basketry. Many of the tribal groups of the Americas have developed the art, and they still retain the knowledge. The art itself is widespread throughout the world, and each cultural group produces exquisite and magnificent works in this form. The process used to produce the work includes the gathering of the natural material, which ties the maker to nature and Mother Earth. And with the binding and weaving process, it involves the intellect as well as the meditation. The headdress of the heart of the basket maker is called a tablita, which represents clouds or the upper world. The symbol on the tablitas are star motifs from various tribal groups from across the United States. These elements symbolize our connection to the universe. The basket symbolize Mother Earth and the circle and designs represent the cultural groups of this world and their migration to their place here on Earth. I have great appreciation and feel deeply honored that my sculpture proposal was accepted to be placed here at the village of Schaumburg Town Square. It gives me great pleasure in being a part of the dedication of the sculpture to honor the Native community and the people of Schaumburg. Thank you to those who made this all possible. You have been listening to a presentation of the River Trading Post Pod Network. Join us again for tips, tidbits, information, discussions, and music, and just about everything else of interest to collectors of Native American art. The River Trading Post Pod Network is brought to you by River Trading Post. If you ever get the chance, drop in and visit with us in Santa Fe, Scottsdale, or Chicagoland. And of course, you can visit us anytime at rivertradingpost.com. Dot com.